Gates are back, and they're racing in the Lomorar King's Plate. Speed Machine, a nominated frontrunner, goes off to the head of affairs and landed up there quite easily. Montian will chase in the early stages, will go and race in second, and Snow Pilot is right there at the rail in third, and See It Again's got a nice place. And moving around runners is double superlative. He's going to get a little bit closer to the pace. Further back to Ulmatana, the red sleeves and the white cap at the corner of the track. Cosmic Highway is midfield, and Charles Dickens are lengthened behind, but just free striding at the outside. Countdown was next best. Then comes Shishlui, Anfield's Rocket has won from last, and Royal Aussie races at the back of the field. They went through the crossover and through the final 900 metres, and Speed Machine opening them up in front by four lengths. Second place is double superlative at the head of the others. Then came Snow Pilot, who races away in third. Montian and See It Again are together. See It Again, white sleeves, Cyclamen Cap at the rail will swing for home about eight lengths from the leader. El Matana, Cosmic Highway are the next two. Then comes Charles Dickens, the blue with a white cap, after them towards the inside we find the likes of countdown and fields rock and finally royal aussie 400 meters left to run and speed machine has done his job towards the inside is see it again then comes snow pilot and charles dickens two off the outside got right into the race as well montian was further back then comes El Matana. charles dickens at the outside see it again far side rail El Matana, snow pilot and cosmic highway but it's charles dickens 100 meters out over see it again and record set Record straight. Charles Dickens wins. Charles Dickens won the Lomorog King's Plate in a beautiful moment for Drakenstein. Second goes to see it again. Third, tight. Real Aussie involved with El Matana. But it's Charles Dickens two off the left-hand side and he got into the... As is his want. When he's at the top of his game, he can go from nowhere to in the race at the drop of a hat. And Charles Dickens has won the 163rd running of the Lomorant King's Plate. See it again, right-hand side. Take nothing away from his effort. Royal Aussie, a huge run. But this is all about Charles Dickens, who's won the 2024 Lomorant King's Plate for Drakenstein Stud, for Gaynor Rupert. And without her, this day wouldn't look anywhere as great as it does. Pierre Stratum Road, see it again. Uh, Pierre, come and join me. A uh, good run from see it again. You know, uh, obviously I, I was hoping to win the race. And if I didn't, I'd give Charles Dickens a go. But she said, the way he quickened up. I'm surprised how many people had Charles Dickens off. I always thought of a mile, he's the champion of South Africa. I don't know why we beat it last time, but uh, uh, I suppose I must be happy he's running, running second because I think uh, my horse is a better 2,000 meter horse. Yep, yeah, I think one or two things happened behind the scene with Charles Dickens that you might not have been aware of. Things changed and definitely could, see, could have seen a different or did see a different horse there. It's, very, it's so true because I actually saw Charles Dickens behind the pens and I said to uh, Elder, I said, she said, that horse is looking unbelievably well. His coat was shining. He was like a different horse compared to last time. So I knew I'm going to have a race on my hands, yeah? Go on, Raju, go on, Raju, Raju also for the Met. No, definitely not. Uh, I think now 2000, Charles Dickens, I don't know if he'll be there. And I think we're more effective at 2000 than Charles Dickens, even if he's there. So I'm hoping that we obviously will beat him if he runs. Pierre, thanks for your time. We're going to go to the winning jockey shortly. Well, wise words from Pierre Stradham and incredible because Pierre picked up exactly what Vicky and MJ did um, behind the pens, saying, wow, he looks different today. And he summed it up. We know he's a super miler, but we also know that see it again over 2000 meters will be a better prospect and um, that is going to make for a fascinating Cape Met, WSB Cape Met. But that's for another day. Today we sing the praises of Charles Dickens and it's any superstar, whether you are a Roger Federer, whether you are a Pele or a Ronaldo or a Messi, to see them come back to their absolute best is what we all watch live sport for. So today, Charles Dickens has returned to what we know he's capable of. It's his 10th career victory. And I have to say, Grant Knowles, that we've seen him super impressive at times. This has got to be up there with one of the most impressive victories I've ever seen. Him, I think it? I think it is. I think it tops everything that yeah. he's done before because he's reversed form with a horse that looked to have uh, his measure going forward and looked like, well, he's going to be actually looking behind and seeing see it again all the time. But uh, he's changed that around and 
You heard Pierre Stradham as well. This is the top miler in the country. And he absolutely smashed them. What a joy to watch. Let's go to Vicky for the presentation of the 2024 Lormorant King's Plate. Thank you very much, Neil. It's most certainly an honor to be on the stage with uh, all the winning connections, especially Aldo Dupin, being very animated in his description of the race to the winning connections. And Aldo, well done. Thank you, Vicky. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> How does it feel? We were on the stage for the, the Guineas. This is most clearly a level up. How does it feel? No, this is something else. I think 10 years ago, I said the one race I want to win is the Queen's Plate. So sorry to King Charles, but <laughs> I'm going to regard it as the Queen's Plate. I absolutely love the idea of the day. To so Miss Rupert and the King's Plate and all day they put together. And you can see how much it means to them. You know, this is more than a race, more than a group. It's, it's, it's more than anything else, you know. Um, it touches emotions, and that's something that really happens. And I'm, goodness, I'm going to embrace every single second of this for a very long time. I feel like you you partner up with your friend when you get on, Charles. Candice and Kevin, we don't understand why this guy's so calm. Because normally I'm full of uh, full a handful, a handful. But this week I, I had this quiet confidence where everything was telling me about him. He's back in the right place and a massive shout out to Belinda because last time he hung and almost took me across the fence and he, he created this conundrum and a puzzle we had to solve and there was no one better to help us do so and I told her a few days before we've got him right back and um, initially we, I was going to place him, I told Candace I've changed my mind I'm just going to trust him and ride him as though it's the old Charles and when I got him to relax he, I managed to get him to listen to me a bit better other than I did last time and there was a lot of critics asking what we're doing, but I mean, there was, there, there was a plan building up to this, you know, and uh, here we are, here we are, that's all I can say. So Ms. Rupert, Mr. Rupert, the best team, can't say thank you enough, and to this beautiful crowd, thank you guys so much. Well and the last one, last one I have to do this, because my oldest son is watching, and he said, please, if the king wins, I need to see it. <laughs> You can t send him back. Come on, come on. You, gotta, you ain't got to accept the trophy. Yes, there you go. That's Lord Robin Redwick. <laughs> Very good. you got to stand for a photo. Come on. Take the moment. If you don't mind, Lord Robin, look that way. If you turn that way. <laughs> Wonderful moments. Well done. Good moment, that. Right. Okay, that was a fantastic. Well, you know, he was so happy, so happy. He, he made his move at the perfect moment. Great race, great outcome. It was indeed Candice Bass Robinson being the trainer. Candice, well done. Oh, thank you, Vicky. Actually, I don't have a lot of words. I'm so emotional at the moment. It's uh, obviously having a horse like this. There's a lot of pressure that goes with all these wonderful moments, and um, I think you, you need to take a few moments just to to kind of take it all in. But oh, what an awesome win today, Vicky. Um, I knew I went into the race today confident that I had him at his best today, that I had him back to where old Charles was. Um, you know, we've been doing quite a bit of work in between runs now and I have to say a special thank you to Belinda, who's my oldest friend and, uh, you know, she stopped riding for us due to an, an accident and uh, to beg her to come back and say, please, can you come back and just do some work with Charles and she's done a fantastic job and I think it's made Aldo's job all that much easier in the race today. So really thank you very much to her. Obviously to my whole team, um, what can I say, they, I've got, I think I've got the best team. We all work together so well, from Robbie to Andre to Mel, who I can never thank enough. Um, we even got Trevor back, he's come out of the woodwork, so to Marky, my brother, um, you know, he does tirelessly does all the work behind the scenes marketing wise and uh, I don't always envy his job, it's not an easy job to have, so thank you to him for everything. To my parents obviously who stand behind me through everything. Uh, who also go through all my work riders, Tyron, to my other jockeys um, who put in so much work at home and then obviously to Aldo who, you know, this is his, this is his horse, it's his favourite horse, I think it's his child and uh, he rode a fantastic race today and uh, you know we put a lot of work into this horse and it really paid off well today so a big thank you to him for all he does and you know he's there to put me in my place every now and then and to just guide me in the right direction when I'm going off, off the beaten track a little bit so I think we make a wonderful team all together. So just really thank you very much to everyone. And then obviously to Gaynor, to Johan, to Kevin, Kira, the whole team at Drakenstein. What can I say? It's been a fabulous day for them. I can't thank them enough for everything they do for me and my team. And 
to have Gaynor win this race today on her day. I think it's the first time you've won this race, so it makes, it makes me even more proud. Um, so thank you from the bottom of my heart to them too. And um, yeah, nothing more that I can say. If I've missed anybody else, to everybody, to all of my fans, to all the public out there, thank you for all your support. Well done, Ken. Thank you very much. If you can please... <laughs> Could you please hand this over to you, Candice? Lovely to have uh, Lord Robin Renwick on course. Wonderful. If you can stand for a photo, if you don't mind standing together and looking over that side for a photo, and then looking forward to uh, having Mrs. Rupert join us. Wonderful moment. So this is the the winning moment that we all need and cherish. <laughs> Wonderful indeed. And then if I can have Mrs. Rupert from, Mrs. Gaynor Rupert from Dragon State so join me. Well done. Thank you so much, Vicky. I'll, I'll start with saying thank you to everybody. Um, Candice to start, um, her wonderful team. Eldo, what a fantastic ride. Um, everyone at home. I want to say thank you to Nick Johnson, great friend, great competitor, great patron of mine, and always a gentleman. He's always the first one to congratulate me. I really appreciate that. Charles Dickens, and I have to really try and hold it together here. He, um, he's, he's a great horse, and we, we knew he was, we know he's a great horse. A um, couple of things went wrong here and there, but today he showed who he really is, and um, he's the future of Drakenstein. Trippy that I love so much, um, now I've got Charles. And when I came here today, I thought I'm not going to think of anything to say because I have to prepare myself for possible defeat. Last year I thought I'm gonna win, but it doesn't always work out like that in racing, which is what makes it so exciting and wonderful because everything has to go right. Um, today it did and, and he could show what he's about and I, I, I know we had if I have to quote Charles Dickens a spring of hope but we um, we did have the worst of times and now we have the best of times and um, this is a great day for me first time in 20 years that I've been sponsoring this race and finally I've won it <laughs> My, my whole family is here. My husband, my three children, all their spouses. I couldn't be happier. When you won the guineas, you said it was the best racing moment of your life. Does this top that? Yes, it does. It just tops it. <laughs> we just needed the confirmation. A huge congratulations to you. Thank you so much, Vicky. Thank you so much to everybody here, sponsors, friends, um, the public. Um, thank you. You've, you've all contributed to making this the greatest day of my racing life. Thank you. Well done. If you can just come across. <laughs> right. Before I present this award to my favorite South African, I would like to thank her and Johan and the Rupert family for their sponsorship of this wonderful historic 163-year-old event, such a happy event, such a wonderful way to celebrate the beginning of the year in Cape Town on a beautiful day and a great race. Uh, so may I now please pass, pass, present you with the, with the King's the King's yes, Of course. Are you all ready? I'm just going to come up. 